This is the low mile Vortec engine that currently resides in the family burnout wagon. And in this episode, it's going to get some upgrades. Stick around. I'm Brian Baker, commercial pilot, AMP mechanic, and car enthusiast. Come with me as I do some burnouts, fly helicopters, and try not to break anything. The course board was removed to make engine access easier. The link to that video is in the upper right corner. Now we can get right to the engine teardown and- So here's the first spark plug out. And honestly, it looks pretty amazing. I think that I uh, had this engine pretty well dialed in. So see if we can't do that with the next motor. Find top dead center by putting your finger in the spark plug hole, turning it over and feeling for pressure. All right, that's a compression stroke. And I like to chuck a zip tie down in here, something soft so that you can feel the piston as it comes up. Also, this one was properly timed, so the pointer for the distributor should come around and point to the number one cylinder in its general direction as it comes up to top dead center. And that's pretty close to top dead center, but also I know that I put this timing mark on here and I know that it's correct. Number one piston, top dead center on the compression stroke. So we verified here. I know the piston is on the rise on the compression stroke because it builds pressure in the cylinder against my finger, which means that both valves are closed and my distributor is pointing correctly towards the number one cylinder. Now that we've got the engine set up top dead center, we can take our distributor out. Normally I'd recommend to mark your distributor against the intake manifold. However, we're going to take this entire intake manifold off and replace it, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And we'll give our distributor drive gear a good inspection, so no issues there. It's got its pins. Nothing's clogged and it's not marred up. With the engine in a configuration that will help out with assembly, we can continue the teardown by removing the valve covers, intake manifold, rockers, push rods, and heads. All I can say is that you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Look how clean the inside of this engine is. You can still see the cross hatching inside of this engine. These cylinders are pristine. Wow. Awesome. No, 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 no. You're welcome. No, you're welcome. No, you're welcome. You. No, I'm sorry. You're welcome. No, no, no. Excuse me, sir. You're welcome. No, you're welcome. No, sir. Excuse me. You're welcome. No, you're banished. I'm banished? Yes. What am I banished from? It's from homework. I'm banished from homework? There's the cam. Here's our replacement cam. It's a comp cams, 224 intake, 236 exhaust at 50 thousandths lift and a lobe separation of 113. Here are my Blueprint Engineering Cylinder Heads, part number H8002K. They come fully assembled with oversized valves. They allow me to have a cam with over 50 thousandths lift, which is a major restriction with the stock Vortec cylinder heads. The heads came with valve springs, but because of the application of these heads, CompCams recommends replacing the valve springs with part number 986-16, which has a higher spring pressure. And since we're done with that, now it's time to go throw the heads on the car. Oil of this engine. Now what we want to see is we want to see oil come up through the lifters into the rocker arms and distribute itself across the whole valve. So we have a problem, uh, a pretty big problem. The supercharger and the AC pump adapter are interfering. If I try to put 
the bolt that goes into here and into here that go back into the head. In order to do that, I have to lift the supercharger up and slide this over to get it to line up. Now, those of you who've watched my videos before, you know I'm from Las Vegas and I take my kids in this car and I have to have AC. So, me and a crack team of engineers sat down and we figured out what we're gonna do about this problem. And here it is. This, I'm going to make a bracket from that hole back here. I'm gonna drill a new head stud hole here. That fixes one of my two problems. My other problem is the valve cover over here hits on this AC bracket. And even if I rotate it over, it's still gonna hit on it and it's not gonna allow it to seat in its proper position when it's up against the head. The easiest is to just lop off this ear and hope that it fits. This valve cover that I ordered from Summit Racing wouldn't allow enough clearance to retain the air conditioning pump and the valve cover. So I took it down to a local welding shop and I had them weld up the aluminum. And if you're wondering about rocker clearance, they're still just enough. The third issue I have has to do with the thermostat housing. Normally the thermostat housing that comes with the supercharger kit has the thermostat housing adapter exit this way as it would normally come around to the stock radiator. Unfortunately, that's not gonna work with my AC bracket here. So I've ordered an adapter that'll move my thermostat housing off to the side and this adjustable one here so that I could route the, the coolant line to the top of this and around back behind the C pump to the radiator. That's cool, Daddy. You're cool. No, you're cool. No, 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 you're cool. You're cool. You're the coolest. No, you're the coolest. What? So when I initially got the supercharger installed, there's an idler pulley here in the stock location. But that wasn't going to work because this bracket here was going to hit it. And additionally, whenever the belt came from here and went downward, it was going to hit this pulley here. So I relocated it to the, to another stock hole. I didn't have to drill anything out. It just went right into this hole right here and rerouted the belt accordingly. First start. Official first start. Official. Official. Hopefully it's the official actual first start. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Dude, after all this, I'm so nervous. Clear prop? Yep. Yeah, it's it like 30 degrees advanced. Go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe. Like. I hope you didn't really think we we're gonna end the video there. We've still got to go to the dyno. For that, we take the family burnout wagon down to the guys at Sin City Performance in Las Vegas.
All right, so I was driving the family burnout wagon down the highway and it started sputtering and running real bad. I came in here and these, found these are loose. So uh, now it's time to dig around and find out how much damage it did. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think all my push rods are rubbing on the uh, push rod guides. So if you look down at all of them, they're, they're all doing it. I'm happy I found it when I did. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and want to see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.